This is the Montgomery County, Ohio Bicentennial Barn. I've been watching this barn sit here my entire life as a little boy looking out the car window and I was just fascinated by it. And then one day there was a for sale sign and about a week or two later we had a deal accepted to buy the barn without really knowing what we were getting into. But our goal is to save it and renovate it and eventually we want to use it as a wedding venue. So we hired an architect, a structural engineer, and a civil engineer. We spent a year working on the design. It's very important to us to preserve the character of the barn as much as we possibly can and hide any of the structural fixes and amenities that we need to get it up to modern building codes. And it took another 11 months of red tape, but we finally have a building permit. There were many tears shed in our house the day we finally got the building permit. Now I'm gonna walk you through our plans for what we're gonna do with the barn. Okay, so we've got a long skinny property. On one side, we have the barn. And then on the south border, we have an interstate highway, which you can see the barn from. One side is an empty field and the other side of the, the funnel. Now, we turn on the civil engineering drawings, we can see our plan for the site. And we need a long water line, it's about a thousand feet. It was exorbitantly expensive, eight inch ductile iron water line. There's two fire hydrants, and that goes into the barn. Then we need a sewer system. So it's 1400 feet, and it's uphill. So we have a lift station to pump the sewer down to the main line. Then we need to have a parking lot. So we've got a long skinny site, so we're going to have a long skinny parking lot right there. And we have to have a big turnaround circle that a fire truck can turn around and not get stuck. And that's the main entrance right there. And everything in the site kind of drains the same direction, so it's all going downhill towards our retention basin and back. And that pretty much sums up the plan for the site. The building itself is much more challenging. The old slate roof was crumbling beyond repair and leaking everywhere due to wind damage. The old cupolas on the roof were almost completely rotted out and barely hanging on thanks to a few metal attachments. And in order to insulate the building and keep it looking authentic, we need to add a new layer of cedar barn siding on the outside. And also to make it legal for human occupancy, we need to add amenities like bathrooms, air conditioning, and lighting. But we need to do it in a way that keeps it hidden as much as possible so as not to hurt the interior character of the barn. Hi there. Yep, we got our building permit. Just in time for the economy to go to crap, but that's okay. We're gonna take our time and do the best job we can on this. Uh, it's our project for the next few months, or maybe longer. Definitely the biggest thing we've ever done, um, but we, we really wanna save this barn. We're not a corporation or anything. We're regular people. We're using our savings. Um, and I know everything's kinda crazy in society right now, but when, when that blows over, which it will, someday to the new normal, whatever it may be. I hope you will consider us for your special day. But in the meantime, um, I'd hope you subscribe and follow along um, because yeah, I'm gonna post videos every every week, hopefully maybe two a week. My wife's mad because it's taken a really long time to get this first video done, but I had to learn how to make the videos. So gotta start somewhere. Um, I might even post some tutorials of like because we got into property development basically from the seat of our pants and we're figuring out as we go along getting bigger and bigger um, so yeah we're gonna even the stuff that's that's done already I'll post videos I saved videos of everything I was actually originally gonna make this channel to make a GoFundMe but I, it looks like my construction mortgage is gonna go through after all so we should be good to get to the end of this project and we're gonna do the best job we can so, yep, videos will be coming on every aspect of saving the Bicentennial Barn, so please follow along.